everyone, I am Dr. Fuji and I will be bringing you a walkthrough or yeah, a, walk a let's play of Pokemon Genesis version. Uh, this was made by Frace, also known as the Shayabusa sorry, of Poker Community Forum, so you can see his wonderful title screen, which is actually animated and I mean that's a that's a beautiful title screen for RCS and Ghost Hina, but enough about that, let let's let's continue onwards. Now we've just got a regular opening here. Uh, nothing that, nothing new that you wouldn't see in a regular Fire Red version. So, uh, yeah, we're already up to Oak's introduction. Uh, well, it's not much that I can say here. I mean, it, it is his regular introduction, and this is a ROM hack. Uh, there's different, different tiles, uh, completely new maps. Uh, every, just about everything is different here in this ROM hack and it's, it's a very very good quality ROM hacks I must say and it's definitely one of my favorite now I'm, I'm just going to call myself a name that I usually call myself for some reason I have no idea why I chose this initially but my name is Macro yes I, yes, my name is Macro quit having slow text and this is my grandson he's been a rival since we were both babies what was his name now? now uh... here you might actually see that he has a Gary sprite here but in game he doesn't actually have Gary's sprite, so let's go and call him not Gary. I think that makes a lot of sense, don't you? I mean, oh, it wasn't not Gary. Yes, it was not not Gary. I mean, it was not Gary. Yeah, that's right. I remember now. His name is not Gary. Macro. Your very own Pokemon Legends is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures for Pokemon and waits. Let's go! More like let's play. Uh, general opening... Opening map. Boot up PC. What would I like to do? I'd like to take my potion, please. Thank you. Now, let's, let's blow this place. Got nothing to do here. Oh, hey, Dad. Oh, you're finally up. Listen, I got a parcel. Yeah, it's a parcel. It's, you know, Professor Oak's parcel around at the beginning of Fire Red. Yeah, this is it. Just, there's just a slightly different reworking of it, where, where phrases include your dad, and he is very integral to the plotline later. But anyway, we're in Verasa Village. Uh, welcome to your hometown. It's pretty quiet, and there's basically nothing to do here beyond opening the storyline. Uh, there's a small beach down there, but it has nothing, absolutely nothing on it. And there's a trainer school here, but if you've played Pokemon before, you wouldn't even need to go in there, because nothing happens. Hey, Macro Oh look, it's not Gary! Told you he didn't have a Gary sprite. Not supposed to go out of the village without Pokemon. Oh, thanks, Professor. Yay, come with me, I'll lend you one. Sweet, we're gonna get us some... We're going to get us a starter Pokemon from our best friend, not Gary. Now, this is his house. He's got his pants here as well. And it's pretty interesting, because, I mean, you, you never really think of your your rival as being friendly, but here here he is. I mean, you always thought of your... You generally, you thought of your rival as being pretty mean and stuff. I mean, just look at regular Gary. Now, here, here are your starters. Uh, you got Mareep, the wool Pokemon. Uh, Mareep's standout stack, a stat <laughs> is its special attack and to a lesser extent its speed, which will make it a good special attacker on any team. Uh, by its final evolution, it will have great special attack, but that will only be its real feature. I mean, this other stats will be pretty bland by then. No, I don't want, don't want it. And then we have Trapinch. Trapinch is by far the most offensive Pokemon that you're going to guess if you're well, on the starter side. Uh, its second evolution will suffer a large drop in its attack, but it will increase enormously once in its final evolution. Uh, but its real downside is really going to suffer in the first three gyms, so you'll need a really strong team to carry it through the early part of the game, so I don't want Trapinch. And uh, there's a little glitch here. It's the ball, poke ball Pokemon. Pick Mareep? No. The bulkiest of the three options, but it doesn't have a good defensive typing, but since it's part ice type, it has amazing offensive. Uh, there is an area where you will be getting an ice type around the third gym, so it's not too amazing that uh, you have a sphere early on. But 
I, I love my spheels, so I'm going to choose Spheel. Yay! Yes, I would like to give Spheel a nickname. Wh what other nickname could better characterize Spheel than... Let's see... Snowball. Yeah, Snowball. That's a pretty damn good nickname. <laughs> now your rival, as usual, is going to choose the, uh, the Pokemon that will be strongest against you. Uh, if you pick Mareep, he's going to pick Trapinch, and well, when you actually learn electric attacks, they'll have no effect on. Uh, you would have no effect on the tra his Trapinch, so there is a disadvantage there. Uh, now your rival is just going to like talk you through how to do battling, but I, I mean, y y you'd know how to battle, right? Unless you're a complete newcomer to the franchise, and I have no idea why you'd be playing a ROM hack this early on if you didn't know how to battle already. Uh, now, you you are going to have a, in this battle you're going to have a great advantage because, uh, critical no way, uh, going to have a great advantage because as you see you have an Orin Berry equipped while your rival has absolutely nothing. Put on top of that the person that I'm sure you'd get out of your PC and and the 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 only real way that you can win is if you miss every single attack and he gets crits every single time. I mean, it. You'd have to be pretty bad and have terrible luck to lose this fight. So Mareep's fainted and Snowball gained 63 XP. <laughs> Level 6, Woot. Play the field rival, okay. Wow, I'm a natural. Yeah, damn right. I hear it. He, he will hear your Pokemon after battle, so I mean, you don't have to do anything else. Uh, so you're not Gary. Uh, so that that's basically the blandest introduction that well it's not bland, it's just it's just a really basic introduction. And here we are on the first route of the game. Uh it's a short route where you'll f experience your first battles against wild Pokemon and trainers. Uh here's a bug catcher here. I might be little, but you won't but I won't like it if you go easy on me. Uh yeah, as I was saying, this route mainly holds normal and flying type Pokemon, uh, and there's only one Pokemon that doesn't fit into either of, two ty of these two types, and that is Spinarak. Uh, but the other Pokemon you can find here is Sentret, Zigzagoon, Pidgey, Spearow, Hoot Hoot, Ladybug, Spinarak, Rattata, and Halo. Uh, it, it's good that there are flying types here, because I mean, the next gym, it's, it's going to be hard for most of the starters. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a it's a type that's got an advantage on all of them. So, but it is weak to flying. So, picking any of the flying types here would be a really good choice. And I mean, it'll just make your life so much easier than having to grind up to level 20 or something just to be it. Oh, that's level seven. Go snowball. Oh, growl. That that's a brilliant move. Oh, I can't wait to try that out. Yeah. Now, uh, up here is another trainer. Now, this last, she has a Pokemon that's you normally wouldn't see this early on in the game, but uh, she was just given it because, just because, and that's a Spinder. Uh, uh, during a practice farm, I was actually beaten by the Spinder due to a lucky critical hit, so <laughs> it, b believe you me, it, it can be deadly if you're not expecting it. Uh, but, I mean, it, it shouldn't be too hard to take out, it's just bulkier than those Caterpies and Wormfalls you just saw me smash, so keep keep an eye on it, but don't be too threatened by it. Yay, level 8. Every battle we fought, we've gained a level. Damn right, I'm good at it. Up here there's a youngster, but I think I'm just going to skip him. Uh, this Genesis does bring back berry trees. Uh, but they are one-time use only, so you will only be getting one berry from them. Here, uh, hey, it's an orange berry. Yay, orange berry! So they will not reappear. Uh, the trees will obviously be there, but you will not get any more berries from them. It, it's kind of replacing the uh, hidden berries on the ground, but you will still find hidden berries on the ground. It's just those are obvious berries you can take. I just fought a Pokemon two seconds ago. No, I do not want to fight you, Zigzagoon. You might have a cute smile and be really, really common, but I do not want to fight you. And here we are in Felwood City. 
Uh, this is the first city that you'll visit, and it holds a Pokemon Center of gym up here. I was talking about earlier. There's an interesting guy in this house, but I'll get to him later. And here's your mart. Now, you, if if you played uh, Pokemon Fire Red, you might think you'd have to go into the mart to get the package, but no, it's been changed, so you have to go to this research center here. Now, a few people have gone stuck and said, hey, how do I get in? There's a tree blocking the way. Well, like any tree, you'd have to cut it, but you don't have cut. Oh, hello, miss. Oh, you're a trainer, but you can't even get past a small tree. Here, allow me. Oh, good, she's going to cut the tree for us. You didn't cut the tree, you took the tree, what? What business? What? And she walked through that- what? She's freaky, man. She walked through a person and, and disappeared a tree. Dear God, what? Oh, hey, Professor Roke, how's it going? Saw you in the intro. Need some help? Oh, yeah, getting an experienced trainer. Hey, not Gary. How'd you get by campus? Still waiting, huh? Man, this place is dull. That was really boring. Who you were talking to just now? Wait, that's not... Get her out of the way! Yeah, as you can tell, your rival is a fan of Professor Oak. He, he worships him. He's like a false idol or something. I have no idea, but basically, Professor Oak is a pretty good guy. It's, he's going to give us your... He's going, well, he's going to give us our Pokedexes, so enjoy it while you can. I'm gonna start working on it straight away. You should go home and deliver that package to your dad when you get it first. Your friend is very enthusiastic. Well, I'll say. See you, Oki. Now, your package, you have to talk to this woman here. Uh, thanks for the parcel. Put in the key in his pocket. And now, there's nothing to do but walk back home to Verasa Village. And as you can see, the tree is gone. This is gone forever. That lady took it. And then she walked through that kid there. You okay, man? Sure. Oh, good. Recycled text. I love recycled text. Uh, I'm afraid there is going to be some recycled text in this game, so if you're looking for brand new scripts and stuff, they're, they're usually around, but for some of the non-battling NPCs, there is recycled text, so I'm afraid that is one downside of the game. Yay. Now uh, back to the rest of the village. And now we have to just return our stuff to our father. Return the package. And I think we'll be ending it off there. Is that the parcel? Thanks, Macro! Hmm? What's special about it? Oh, nothing much, really. What? See you leaving to any trainer? Oh, yeah. Apparently he was a good trainer, so... Woo! Pokeballs! I do like some Pokeballs. There's a Pokeball, so you can use them to catch more Pokemon. You can buy them at Pokemots. Here, you're anxious. So that's why I couldn't run. I was wearing concrete slippers. Oh, silly me. Well, thanks again, Macro. Okay, then. So we have our running shoes, we have our Pokemon, and now there's nothing to stop us from going out and conquering the world of oh, Pokemon gyms. Oh, wait. We have to learn how to catch Pokemon. Yay!